Now, CBS4 Weather with meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez. Good Tuesday morning, taking a live view from our Key West camera where it is looking very nice and calm and dry. We have weather watchers from all around South Florida sharing the view from where they are. Thanks to Antoinette for sending in this glorious sunrise from Pompano Beach. It really is a beautiful start to the day. Look at this picture, courtesy of Pat Moran of Deerfield Beach, Cotton Candy Skies, as she describes it. Sandra K. Booth also sharing the view from Lauderdale by the Sea. Would love to be on that pier right now and Ron Wright also from Lauderdale by the sea some gorgeous colors in the sky and then Melissa Gesner is showing us the fog in Pembroke Pines so we have a mixed bag of weather this morning but thankfully you don't have to worry about any rain for your commute so yeah today the umbrella is really not necessary the rain chance is low it's gonna be mostly dry but the winds are calm or light and some patchy fog is reducing visibility in Kendall is where we've seen that fog really becoming more dense and right now visibility down to three miles there are seven in home at 8 in Pompano Beach. Temperatures are mild, mostly low to mid-70s in Broward County, 73 in Pompano Beach, 75 in Fort Lauderdale, 71 in Davie, 70 in Margate, and 70 in Coconut Creek. Yet in Miami-Dade County, a few areas enjoying the cooler 60s, 65 in Homestead, 69 in Kendall and Pinecrest, Coral Gable, 73 though in Miami Beach and Miami, down through the Keys, the mid to upper 70s. It's quiet for much of the western half of the country, but very soggy here across Texas and the southeast. This is our our first front that is set to slowly move across the state. It'll be here by tomorrow, but ahead of it, we stay warm today, 86 degrees, a mix of sun and clouds, and the breeze out of the southeast. For boaters, no advisories, seas two to three, a light chop on the base. And tonight, uh, something that Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer came up with, and I love it, March mildness, because of course, you know, we have March Madness going on, but it is certainly gonna be mild tonight, 70 degrees, and we could see some patchy inland fog again. So here comes some moisture tomorrow, and that'll bring a change in terms of some showers and then at least we'll start to see our temperatures drop a little bit Thursday 80 degrees drier comfortable actually pleasant by Friday upper 70s for highs but then another front is going to move in so check it out 88 tomorrow warmest day of the week and we could see some rain then Thursday not as warm 80 70 Friday breezy showers and possible storms Saturday with 82 and then we'll cool down again on Sunday upper 70s but turning breezy to windy